Ravens, I'm Tiaja Holt alongside Brooke Briasella. Here's what we have for you on this week's edition of ONW Now. On today's show, we have a recap of Veterans Day, how AP classes can affect your ACT score. We also have a promo for the Egg Drop Challenge, how plagiarism works, the week of giving, support staff week, and coach of the fall. Veterans Day is an annual event to recognize brave men and women who risk their lives for our country. Sean has a story. Last Wednesday, on November 11th, Veterans Day at the Johnson County Armory, a celebration was held for veterans of World War II and the Vietnam War. It's really honored to be here as we celebrate two military milestones as part of our annual service uh, in commemorating the 70th anniversary when World War II came to an end and the 40th anniversary of the ending of the Vietnam War. Many people attended the celebration, including Representative Kevin Yoder, Senator Pat Roberts, Lex Mayor Mike Boehm, and Deputy Commanding General of Kansas Army National Guard Brigadier General Victor Braden. The ONW Marching Band was also the celebration, playing their marching show and other, other military songs like Taps and March of the Armed Forces. ONW Choir teacher Miss Williamson accompanied the Mill Valley Choir as their pianist and also sang one of her own songs. Representative Yoder and Senator Pat Roberts had a message to say to the ONW student body about what Veterans Day is. Well, the men and women who serve our country, uh, go overseas and fight to defend our freedom, make it possible for uh, young people to be able to go to school, to realize their dreams, to have the opportunities that the greatest nation in the world provides. Veterans Day ought to make every student stop and think about basically their heritage and who really made it possible for them to uh, take a look at their dreams and try to achieve. For Owen to be now, this has been Alex Gable. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Alex. Bank, have you ever wondered how effective AP classes can be? <laughs> Help your ACT score. Lee has a story. Many students at ONW take AP classes, but how do they affect you? Well, the biggest advantage to taking an AP class for the ACT is that we know students who take AP classes perform better on the ACT. ACT scores have been shown to improve with the number of AP classes a student takes. Data from this year's senior class reflects this. The biggest thing is early on to begin taking as many advanced classes as you can take that you're ready for. We want you to take as hard of a class as you can, rigorous as a of a class as you can, that you are going to be successful in. Doing good on the ACT is extremely important. The ACT is important because it gets you into the college that you want to go to and it gets you scholarship money. So any work that a student does at school needs to be like a part-time job that they get paid for later in scholarship money. Though it is rewarding, taking an AP class can be very hard work. We talk a lot about rigor, that we're using higher level thinking skills on a more frequent basis, that it is college preparatory. Students earn college credit, so we want to treat them like college students. Study hard so you can do good on the ACT and get into the college of your dreams. For ONW Now, this has been Lee Volker. Now back to the desk. Do you want to put your engineering skills to the test? Science Scholars is holding an egg drop competition on December 1st from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the Flex Theater. People should come to the competition because it's a fun way to get involved and also it's just something fun you can do with your friends and it's also a fundraiser for these programs. Any student attending Olathe Northwest can participate and even younger students in the Olathe School District. Okay, any um, student fourth grade or above can participate in this event. The egg drop competition allows you to innovate science scientific ideas while having fun at the same time. Um, I believe that we're going to do different gift certificates and like little goodie bags and as you're in a different division you'll get a different prize. Sign up using the QR code or the RSVP link. For ONW Now, this has been Victoria Scarduzio and Libby Bandy. Now back to the desk. Thanks Libby and Victoria for the great promo. Also Val and Alex have an informational piece on plagiarism. When a student is taking an entire work from the internet and turning it in as their own. Obviously, there's no question that's cheating, that's plagiarism. Whether they know it or not, almost everyone has committed plagiarism. The problem is, not everyone fully understands what plagiarism is. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary's definition of plagiarism is to use the words or ideas of another person as if they were your own. English teacher Jessica Skoglin believes students need to understand what plagiarism actually means. I think sometimes students just don't know the difference between actually um, quoting or using evidence appropriately and plagiarizing. So I would say it's more of an ethical offense that as teachers, it's our job to teach students what um, is appropriate and not appropriate in writing. According to English teacher Neil McEachin, if you're caught plagiarizing, the consequences can be severe. Instantly, it's a write-up. 
Uh, it can include a zero on the assignment. I always call the parents. I always confer with the student first and try and figure out, well, why did this happen and what was the process behind it? Colleges and universities often have serious punishments for plagiarism. In college, for example, many classes have a policy that if you plagiarize, either you just fail the course outright or sometimes you're kicked out of the university. McEachin witnessed firsthand the consequences of plagiarism in the real world. I used to work in a newspaper and one day we saw one of our articles published in a competing paper and immediately the reporter who did that for the other paper was out of a job. There was talk of a lawsuit, there were legal fees involved, lawyers and everything else. Many steps are being taken to prevent plagiarism. Resources such as Turnitin.com are provided to help students avoid it. We have Turnitin.com and we can see a similarity report and I've had assignments that are as similar as 97 percent to other works out there. I always talk to my students at the beginning of the year about how you appropriately cite sources. For ONW Now, this has been Val Cartwright and Alex Gable. Now back to the deck. The week of giving was a great success with an outstanding blood drive participation and cans donated. Good job, Ravens. Val and Alex have the recap. Last week at ONW was the week of giving. On Monday, the assembly was held to kick off the week. Every day, positive affirmation stickers were handed out to students throughout the week. Wednesday night was the Cantivities Night. All classes were able to participate in the Canstruction Contest. The freshmen won the contest with a replica of Kauffman Stadium. There was also a dodgeball tournament on Wednesday. Various teams competed, but in the end, the senior team, the Court Smashers, won it all. To wrap the week of giving up, ONW had its first blood drive of the year, with over 300 people donating. For ONW Now, this has been Val Cartwright. Now back to the desk. The coach, of fall, the coach of the fall was Coach Sherman. Zach, Bryce, and I have the story. Chip Sherman, our coach of fall sports, was picked for turning our football program around and his dedication to football. I, I grew a, a, a love for it and a love for athletics in general. And then as I got older, I went to college and played football. Playing football in college influenced him to continue his passion. And then decided that, uh, you know, coaching was a way to extend that time and that love and that compassion for the sport. Coach Sherman turned around the ONW football team and has had a big impact on its players. The thing about this season that was nice was to see the kids work towards a goal. They dedicated themselves and, and they did the right things and acted the right way. And it just, you know, it was good to see them get the fruits of their labor. For ONW Now, this has been Brooke BSL. Now back to the desk. And now Sean and Luis have a story of Repair a Week. This week is National Education Support Professionals Week. And this week, we take the time to recognize the support staff here at ONW, such as our secretaries, paras, and our security guards. Their work sometimes goes unnoticed, but it's an essential part in public education. For ONW Now, I'm Sean McPartland. Now back to the desk. Thanks, guys. Make sure you come out to see the musical Legally Blonde, the 19th through the 21st. Only expect cash at the doors. For Brooke Biasella, I'm Tiaja Holt. Stay warm and have a great week, Ravens.